Today we're here with Phil Webb from Boss Communications. Phil, welcome to the show. It's nice to be here. Now, new uh, new BTR product, but before we get onto it, let's let's take a, a brief talk about some of the history. BTR, of course, um, part of the Telex family. Part of the Telex family. Um, it's a, a product. Telex have been at the forefront of wireless communication systems for nearly 25 years now, starting out with the BTR 200 VHF crystal lock fixed frequency device. Really Which I have actually used. There are still people out there using them, and yep. we can still service them. So it's nice to know that you can still service a 25-year-old product. It is. <laughs> um, and in fact, the BTR 300, which is the latest generation of that, is still a current product. Uh, we don't sell much VHF anymore, but uh, we, then, <laughs> we then moved on to UHF product with frequency agile systems such as the BTR 800 and 700, which are sort of pretty much industry standards. The, in recent years, we've had the BTR 80N, um, new generation version of the 800 is a narrow band. And a number of years ago, we released our first 2.4 um, gig product, which was a the Legacy system, which was primarily aimed at college football in the US. And then in recent years, we've had the BTR24, which we've done very good business with, particularly in schools. And now we've got the BTR240. So third generation? Third, third generation. And this is our first digital comm system that has full interfaceability with both two wire and four wire um, systems. Okay, so similar to the, the 700s and 800s I'm seeing on the back, obviously we've got um, two, two intercom loops, two wire and four wire interfaces for each. Yep, yep, and like an 800, actually think of this as a BTR800 or a digital BTR800, okay. if, if you like. It's so pretty easy. You, so you've got an auxiliary input and an auxiliary output. With this, you can define whether the auxiliary output is just the wireless traffic or the wireless traffic and the accompanying two-wire or four-wire traffic. So, yeah, I was having so a look you've in the menu. Global, it looks like there's, there's some fairly flexible things going on there in terms of routing and, and levels. Yep, yep. And um, you'll notice if you're familiar with 800s, there are no little volume pots, um, which which sort of highlighted Yay. at 800, you know, which we still sell spare parts for, so you can fi get them fixed. But from that point of view, all your two wire, four wire interfaceability and level control is under software um, on the front panel. Okay, now in terms of the um, the belt packs themselves, obviously rechargeable lithium ion. Comes as standard, you whereas- You charge it in the base. Yep, yeah, yep. Um, rechargeable batteries were always a, uh, an option with an 800, whereas with this product, they are um, they come as standard. So, yes, you've got the DC connector in the back of the belt pack, so you can just plug it into a, into a standard wall wart and recharge it on board. And you've but it is um, removable, so there is a separate charger bay available so that you can have multiple batteries ready to go from that point and of I've view. And I've got to say, the removal process is a lot easier than it used to be on some of the previous you, series. You would expect, that's, that's been you would expect design engineers to learn from uh, um, the past in that respect. Oh, that's good. Continuous improvement. Um, okay, so in terms of belt packs themselves, uh, now, obviously they run wireless. They've, uh, they've each got an Ethernet port as well. I was noticing you're telling me that yep, you can yep. actually... With an IP address, this, so, yep. So you can run this, even say you need to get extra range on a building that you know, you might have a lot of concrete in the way, um, but you do have an ethernet line, you can actually run it over yep. a standard data network. Yep, yep, so That's each, cool. each belt pack will operate in one of three modes. First mode is standard wireless mode as you're used to a, a TR800 belt pack working. The second mode is in a master mode where you can actually program the belt pack to replicate a base. So from that point of view, you can just buy two of those and actually have a fully operating comm system um, where one of them is the master repeater. So from that point of view, with the Cat5 connection, you can link a belt pack as a master to a master base to provide extended range. Okay. Um, which we've done with BTR24 where we have troubles getting green rooms and dressing rooms. We just use one of the one of the belt packs as an extension for the system to get extra range. Now on that note, what, what's our effective range like on the, the BTR240 base? 
Okay, in the, line of sight. The, the 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 standard spec is three hundred feet line of sight. Um, I've actually done demos in the city um, on outdoors line of sight. I've gotten three hundred and fifty meters without too much trouble. So That's pretty good. Um, now, in terms of dollars, what what are we looking at for the base? Okay, the base is Rough six, retail. Six, 6,000 retail, okay, and we're packs. looking at around 1,700 per belt pack. Okay. So for an eight channel system, we're looking at about the th a third the price of an 800 system. Wow. Cool. And obviously you've got some different headset options. We've got a dual sided lightweight and you've got a single sided. Yep, yep, PH44, 88s, version. all the standard um, Telex headsets that have been uh, around for many years. Okay. Uh, fully interfaceable with, with the system. Excellent. So it's the BTR240 system from RTS. Thank you very much for coming in today, Phil. Thank you for having me. Cheers. Thank you.